What's going on, you guys? Your boy KZ, PKZ, Prince KZ, Kazama. I'm here to bring you guys a new video. And welcome to 2013. We all thought we weren't gonna make it. Well, I knew I was gonna make it, but you know, December 21st, 2012, had y'all niggas shook. You know, y'all niggas thought y'all wasn't gonna make it. Y'all thought y'all was gonna, y'all th thought y'all was gonna die. But you know, we made it. So you know, it's all good. Um, thought I'd drop my first video on a um. A real big topic that a lot of people been talking about, which is the new consoles that are soon to be confirmed, much talked about, you know, since the last year, this year, next gen, all that good stuff. And I want to talk about it now. It's 2013. It's getting close to that time where the new consoles are about to start rolling in. So let's go ahead and get it out right now. And uh, let's go now. First of all, I want to say shout out to Dark Cloud. Just got done watching his uh, couple videos about being a multi console gamer and, um, you know, all that good stuff about, you know, what console are you rolling with next generation and, and crap like that. So I wanted to go ahead and kind of leave a response to that video and talk about stuff on my own. Now, first of all, people ask me, you know, uh, what consoles do you roll with? And some people on, the, um, on my videos know that, you know, I play different stuff, but just in case you don't know, when it comes down to next generation, you know, as far as consoles, because I know, you know, the Steam box has been confirmed for quarter one uh, next gen or this year or whatever, which I'm going to leave that alone because, like I said, I already got a, a PC, an i7 that can run pretty much most of the games that are on Steam, and I don't get into PC gaming that much anyway, so I really don't care. As far as the... <laughs> Every time I say this name, it makes me laugh. The Iowa, the Owa, the whatever that is... Um, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna leave that shit alone too. Um, <clears throat> but, um, as far as consoles go, I'm rolling with everything. Now, this gen, aka last gen, um, we could do a recap. I had the PS3 first, then I had the Wii, then I had the Xbox 360. Um, now, if you're one of those type of gamers that, you know, all you want to play is third party exclusive, I mean, third party games or whatever, Xbox 360, PS3, it really doesn't matter. Just buy one. Same with next gen, I would say it's pretty much going to be the, the, the same deal. Um, I know the Wii U is, it is, is now, you know, running most of the third party games. Having a little issues with the frame rate on the Wii U with some of the third party games, but I know they are having some of the third party games on the Wii U uh, this upcoming gen so you know it could be a system that could be your number one uh, system that you want to run you know your main system but if you want to play exclusives and experience different type of games I would say run with everything now to be honest with you and this is what a lot of people need to do next gen this gen coming up because a lot of people they had a problem with doing this this gen you know even when the PS3 and Xbox 360 Everybody start choosing sides, and you know you have those slick fanboys. I'm gonna tell you what a slick fanboy is. A slick fanboy is a person that acts like he likes everything, but as soon as you start talking bad about their console, then they flip the script and they start talking shit about every other console and everything bad. Now, personally, I don't give a fuck. You can say what you want about the PS3. You know, I'm known to be a PS3 gamer, even though I have I've had different systems. I've had all the last gen systems. Um, uh, excluding handhelds you can say whatever you want about the PS3 like I said PS3 is my main console I like it but you know I feel like you should play everything and I personally do not like the Xbox 360 I don't care for it I mean I had it I played it for a good three four months and it collected dust there was no reason for me to play it and this is why I'm saying I'm getting everything um this upcoming gen because I want to get the 360, I mean the 720 day one, so I can play from day one to the end of the next generation, so I can see what it really offers. Because when I got it, you know, all I did was buy the exclusive, and the only exclusive that really, really caught me, that really, really kept my attention, that I still love to this day, even though I haven't played it in about a year or something, is Alan Wake. I love that game. I hope they make an Alan Wake too. I really do. I love that game. Besides that. Gears is cool. Left 4 Dead is meh. You know, it's all right. Um, but you know, another thing people need to understand, and I've been seeing a lot of this, is uh, people talking about the Wii U, saying that um, 
you know, it's a garbage system already. You know, the system hasn't even been out for a good year yet, let alone six months. You know, we're just now in the 2013. I'm pretty sure we're going to see a lot of more games coming out for it that's really good. As of right now, I haven't been playing my Wii U. Um, I have uh, Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racers. I got done with Zombie U, so I threw that out. Wasn't going to play that no more. Um, I've been playing my 3DS. But I know there's a lot of more Wii U games coming. And and it's crazy, you know, and the thing I want to talk about with fanboys is, is how crazy people are already jumping ship, you know, saying the Wii U is garbage and I can't wait for the Xbox 720, I can't wait for the PS4, and you know absolutely nothing about these systems. <laughs> it's It's funny to me, it's hilarious. I can't wait for the PS4 to come. It's going to blow the Wii U out the war. I can't wait for the Xbox 720. It's going to blow the Wii You know absolutely nothing or the bare minimum about these systems, and yet you're already jumping ship. This generation is going to be funny. I can't wait. It's going to be just like last generation. Everybody's going to be making their videos, shooting back and forth, which one is better. When you dumbasses are going to pick one console, and you're going to be looking bare bones for the whole generation. It's it's hilarious to me. But like I told you, slick fanboys and the obvious fanboys, I'm rolling with everything. Um I already made a, a video basically talking about what I expect from the PS4 next gen cuz I really want to see what that's about as far as my expectations of all the consoles. Um I see a lot of people and this is a big argument in this community. I don't know. I, I really don't know why. I mean, it's, I, I guess it's a lot of PC gamers or uh, people that care about graphics and all that crap that make this argument about the 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second shit. I honestly don't fucking care. I, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care, you know, whether it's 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. If it runs smooth, I really don't care. All this got to, it's just got to run smooth, you know. Uh, no frame rate drops as long as it runs smooth. I don't care about 30 frames per second or 60 frames. Where did this argument start anyway? That is the dumbest shit to me. Like, whatever though. PC gamers are going to be PC gamers. I don't care. Um, From the PS4, I'm really looking forward to seeing what they have with that, if that's the name of the console. Um, I don't want to see an Uncharted straight off the back. Um, I guess Killzone is okay. A lot of people have been saying, uh, been rumoring uh, Killzone and Motorstorm and all that crap. Um, I guess Killzone is okay. I do not want to see an Uncharted 4 straight off the back. I think Naughty Dog needs to keep working on um, different IPs. You know, The Last of Us is looking real good. I think they need to keep moving and bring Uncharted 4 in slowly into the next generation. Um, ready to see a God of War 4. I am ready to see that with no multiplayer. <laughs> uh, as far as the Xbox 720, I want to see some some new exclusive shit. I want to see some real different exclusive shit. I don't want to see the same shoot 'em up shit. Can we get something you know different? That's what I'm looking forward to. Something different from Microsoft. Um, as far as the Wii U, I've seen a couple games. Uh, I think it was Wonderful 101. Just seen that trailer. It's looking pretty good. It's definitely different. Um, and I know it's, I'm not even going to talk about Nintendo when it comes to exclusives because they always have some top AAA shit. But I am looking forward to next gen. I am looking forward to the Fanboy Wars. It's going to be very funny. And, you know, I'm just encouraging everybody, you know, try your best to pick up everything and play it. Even if I, I, I don't have a hate for any console. You know, any console. Even though I say I don't really care for the Xbox 360, I don't have a hate for any console. I mean, I don't understand how people can hate a console. It's not a per it's a console. You know what I'm saying? And people get mad over the most simplest shit that happens. You know, my PS3 broke. You know, my last one. The disc messed up. But, you know, I got another one. It's all good. I'm not tripping. You know, this, this shit is it's material shit. I don't, you know, just fucking buy a new one. You know, I don't care. Just try to pick up everything, you know, even if you don't buy a console. Pick up the shit up and try it. You never know what you're going to like, you know, and that's and that's what I encourage gamers to do. Just pick it up and try it, even if you don't buy it. But that's it. Let me know in the comments section what you think about next gen and how everything is going to go. It's your boy KZ, Prince KZ.
subscribe if you haven't check the links in the description codes names all that shit peace